Hey guys, Dave here. I just want to get you caught up on a few things here. I just got off uh, from a training run, paddled a little more than 13 miles today. Um, I met up with paddling buddy Dave. He was a little bit injured, so we kind of took it easy. We didn't uh, go too fast or anything. Um, right out of the gate, I want to talk about what's going on right now. The world is in the middle of fighting this nasty coronavirus. And uh, as a result, a lot of people are turning indoors to do a lot of their exercise and training. And um, I've had a number of people contact me now. I sell uh, kayak ergometer plans on how to make a kayak indoor paddling ergometer from a Nordic Track ski machine. Um, I sell those plans. They've been out there for years. Um, it was just something that took me years to engineer and figure out how to get right and make it feel like a nice smooth paddling device with a realistic wing stroke action. Um, now people are going indoors to do their training. They can't get out as much. Some people are not allowed to leave their houses, so they're looking for ways to build these devices. And unfortunately, I'm getting emails from people in all parts of the world, Australia, Germany, where Nordic Track machines, ski machines just are not available. They were never popular here in the United States. Uh, 20 years ago they were all over the television advertising these things everybody bought them and now we're at a phase where like they're just collecting dust in people's basements and people just want to get rid of them um, so I, when I started creating these things I thought I was starting from a very plentiful raw material that people would be happy to get out of their basements turns out people all in other parts of the world can't get these things so um, they're contacting me asking me what I can use or what they can use as alternative parts and right now my answer is, I don't know. I wish I did. I wish I could come up with a parts list of uh, parts that you could source from places other than the Nordic Track ski machine. I've never taken the time to do it. It would be kind of a lengthy project to get all the parts and build one to document it to get that to you. But uh, this week um, I'm working with a guy in Belgium who reached out to me. He wants to build one of these. Um, I gave him a set of my plans and I want to work with him that if he's willing to build it and find alternate parts that can be used and document the, the process, he and I are going to work out some sort of arrangement where uh, he, I, he gets a piece of a royalty for um, coming up with alternate parts, part lists and alternate parts that people can use so they can build these without the Nordic Track uh, ski machine. So bear with me. I don't know how long this is going to take, but as of right now, that's the answer. Um, I, I I wish I had parts that you could source locally that could be used as substitutes, but I just don't. And I honestly, I don't have the time right now to research it and then order it and then build it to make sure it all works. Um, I, I wish I did, but I don't. So that's the situation right now. Uh, be patient with me. Maybe um, this guy from Belgium will come up with something that we can bring to you in the next weeks or months and uh, get you on your way that way. Um, and then while I'm at it, I have people ask me what boat I paddle. Um, this boat happens to be, I'm going to turn the camera around for a quick second here. I had somebody reach out to me at a race actually and said that he saw my boat and recognized it from my YouTube videos and said this is probably the most famous kayak on YouTube, which I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it's very distinctive. The decal I have here, that's just contact paper, like shelf paper. I just put that on there just to be a little bit different. Um, this is a boat. It's called the Thunderbolt Bolt, Thunderbolt X. It's from a maker up in New York State, Westside Boat Shops. The guy's name is Doug Bushnell, and he builds every one of these by hand. This one is in full Kevlar, and it's got some thigh straps on the inside, so when, you're, when you get in there, it's got a large cockpit so you can pump your knees. It's kind of an open sprint kind of idea in the cockpit. It's a marathon racing boat, um, but there are some thigh straps that you put over the legs to help you kind of brace. And then it's got a hung Kevlar seat that you can see attaches from the sides. And it did not come with this backrest, but I added it. The backrest by default is just a Velcro strap that's adjustable. Um, and then I made this seat out of mini cell foam where I kind of pop this guy in there behind the seat. And then that gives me just a little bit of support on my lower back, my lower spine. And it also adds to the stability of the boat. That gives me another solid anchor point. And uh, this guy is 21 feet long, uh, 18 inches wide at its widest point. So, that, you know, that's what this boat is, Thunderbolt X. I, um, it's my favorite boat, to be honest. I've been paddling it for years. It's 
I'm com comfortable in it enough that I'll paddle it in all weather, all temperatures, and I feel very safe and stable in it. Uh, it's probably comparable to maybe the Stellar uh, S18S, something like that, or the, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe the Epic 18X, but this guy is 21 feet long. So it's just got a long water line, nice and narrow, good and fast. It's not my fastest boat, but it's my favorite boat. And then I just want to talk about wiping down these boats at the end. Now today I'm using the Care Bear towel. I always keep a towel in the truck. But wipe down the bottom of your boat. You'll see, you know, you get this scuzziness off, this dirt and scum layer that builds up. You don't want that to build up on your boat over time. So wipe your boat down after every paddle. And, um, you know, little secret, I'm just paddling buddy Dave is watching this. I guess the cat will be out of the bag, but I have these kids, <laughs> these towels are towels that my kids outgrew. I've got a, another one that's my little pony that I keep in the truck, and anytime I'm out with Dave and he needs a towel, I gave him the uh, my little pony towel just to maybe humiliate him a little bit. So uh, sorry, Dave, but that's what I've been doing to you all these years. That's why I always hand you the my little pony towel. So that's it for today. Um, that's what I wanted to cover. Kayak ergometer, parts other than a Nordic track machine, don't have them i'm working on it if you feel creative you can get the plans and try to substitute things but i i don't know and um it's not really feasible for me to measure every little piece on that thing also and give you all the dimensions of every piece so you can find some way to work around that's just not really a workable situation either so bear with me i'll hopefully hopefully i'll have something available soon and during uh this global pandemic be safe, take precautions, distance yourself as kayakers and surf ski paddlers. We are by nature already kind of socially distanced most of the time. Even when we paddle together, we're usually, you know, several feet apart. Um, so it's one of the healthiest things you can do right now. Uh, last night I got out at a different boat ramp and there was a lot of boat traffic there. So, you know, what I did when I came back to the ramp, there were other people there. I just paddled an extra half a mile, let them clear the ramp. Uh, so I didn't so we didn't have to get too close to each other. So simple things like that. Keep a safe distance um, You know, obviously don't touch things that other people may have touched in public And then if you do use hand sanitizer or wash hands right away, but uh, get out there and paddle We'll get through this together um, Next time I'll remember and throw a camera on my boat and show you some actual paddling action, but thanks for bearing with me Thanks for watching these videos um, if you don't, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm Dave the Kayaker on Instagram. Go ahead and follow me there. Um, if you like this video, click the like button, su subscribe to this channel. That helps me spread the word. Um, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you'd like to see me cover or do next. I uh, get some products from companies who let me review these things and do the reviews for you and post them. Um, so if you see those, go ahead and, you know, view some of those product reviews and they have a link below if you click through that takes you to Amazon and if you buy anything on Amazon on that trip um, I'll get a small piece of the action through my affiliates account and you don't have to buy just what I link to anything you purchase um, on that visit to Amazon through that link I'll get a little piece of the action so uh, if you want to maybe bookmark that link I'd appreciate that too if you go to Amazon through my link every time That'll help me out. That'll help cover some of my expenses uh, and my time to bring these uh, reviews and, and uh, videos to you. It's a lot of my time and, you know, a lot of the stuff I buy on my own. So it does cost me money. So thank you very much. Stay tuned. More fun to come and uh, stay healthy and uh, hope to paddle with you one day soon.